for the deadly school shooting in Parkland and a lawyer for the family of Anthony Borges, the last victim to be released from the hospital, holding a news conference announcing updates on the case. CBS 4's Carrie Codd was there and joins us now live from Plantation. Carrie. That's right. In fact, that news conference just wrapping up. Student Anthony Borges, shooting victim Anthony Borges, attended this news conference here today. He's out of the hospital. His attorney read a statement on his behalf. Anthony lays blame for the shooting at the feet of BSO Sheriff Scott Israel and School Superintendent Robert Runcie for not doing more, he says, to prevent Nicholas Cruz from being able to be inside the school that day to carry out this violence. In the statement, Anthony also spoke to the families of the deceased victims. And we're not as fortunate to survive as I was. I don't know why I survived, and they didn't. But I will tell you that my family and I will dedicate the rest of our lives to seeing that something like this never happens again. To the other injured, I hope you are recovering well. We have the responsibility to tell the world what happened here. To Sheriff Israel of the Broward County Sheriff's Office and Robert Runcie, the superintendent of the, of the school, and schools in Broward. I want to thank you for visiting me at the hospital, but I want to say that both of you failed us, students, teachers, and parents alike on so many levels. I want to ask you today to please end your policy and agreement that you will not arrest people committing crimes in our school. Now, the Borges family also said that while they are grateful for the hero label that Anthony got after protecting students inside the school, they said they want that hero label to end. The family says instead they want to focus on the failures within the system that cause law enforcement to miss warning signs on Nicholas Cruz. The Borges family also said they're concerned about a program in the school system that discourages the arrests of students for certain offenses. Live in Plantation, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.